Good morning. Today, I wanted to talk to you about free cooling. You hear about free cooling at many levels. It's、um, an extremely interesting application. But what is it really about? We talk about free cooling when we mean an energy efficient cooling system. In practice, when is free cooling applied? Very often, there are manufacturing industries that need to cool their processes with rather low cooling water temperatures. We're talking about 10, 15 degrees, 20 degrees. These are conditions that an evaporative tower clearly cannot meet, especially during the hot season. And neither can a radiator system. So air cooled dissipators are necessary, and refrigeration units are required. However, there are environmental conditions during the cold seasons, or during the cooler hours of the day when a chiller is fundamentally being wasted. Because given the environmental conditions we find ourselves in at those particular moments, a dry cooler, therefore a dissipator, might be sufficient. What are the advantages of free cooling? Let's say that clearly. In terms of investment, it is something extra that we need to implement in our system. In essence, adding a free cooling system alongside a chiller means investing capital in an asset that we probably won't need during the summer season. However, during the winter season. This allows us to turn off the chillers. What does this imply? Let's say that if we make a rough estimate with a chiller having a coefficient of performance, COP of three, it means that for 90 kilowatts kW of thermal dissipation, we have an electrical consumption of 30 kilowatts, more or less. Of these 30 kilowatts, typically 24, 25 are dedicated to the refrigeration compressors that are used to cool the water. In the case of free cooling, these 24, 25 kilowatts disappear because only the kilowatts dedicated to ventilation and the kilowatts dedicated to the water circulation pump remain. At this point, it is clear that we are going to save a lot of electrical energy to dissipate the same thermal energy. Clearly, at this point, it's easy to do some calculations and try to understand what the payback period for a free cooling system might be. Let's say there are many applications where free cooling is definitely an excellent choice. Obviously, it depends on the latitudes. The colder the country, or the longer the cold period, the easier it will be to recoup the investment in free cooling. The topic is extremely interesting. If you want, we can delve deeper into it. Have a good day, and thank you.